Okay, so we made one pound profit. I think you would have made a loss if it wasn't for the bonus. So I think maybe like pound loss. Uh, yeah, so this was third, which would have been nice if it came in, but those two won, which was nice. But uh, yeah, so both of the winners had rule four on them, so the profits went down a bit. But because I used the bonus for those two races, I'm still in profit. I was 176 yesterday, so 178. Okay, so the Yoke Festival, it's been really tough. We had one winner, which was this. Wasn't enough to break even, anything like that, so. Yeah, overall very rough. None of them even placed, I don't think any of them, like those f five placed, or this even got even close. It's been really rough. Not much to say about that. Okay, for tomorrow we have nine selections, all one stake each. So nine all together. Mostly from Ireland. I'm working on a video for, I'm going to do like a comparison between English races, so anything from England, and anything outside, so Ireland, Scotland, and give you like an idea of like, what the win rate is between two different ones because I think I'm like 80% sure that the Irish races are more confusing to predict. That's maybe not the right word but they're like a lot harder to predict than the English races. I don't know if that's because there's more horses in there in the Irish ones. That might be a factor but it's one of those things uh, like I don't know till I when I'm working on the video maybe release it on like Sunday or Monday just trying to get all the data together to make it good for YouTube anyway so let's get started with this so yoke we have one for the final race which is 13 it should be 13.5 one all the stakes today are one Okay, so next one. Oh, this has gone up from 9.5, it was 8. Oh, also, I'm doing, well, I'm planning on doing a video based on all the, maybe I'll do a separate video for each. So I'm going to start off with doing age because I have the data for that and see how age matters in like flat races, jump races, break them down, group ones, group twos, stuff like that. So it'll give you like a breakdown of like different ages and what's optimal for each, like each type of race, if that makes sense. And maybe do like a win rate one and maybe odds one, but odds one might be hard to do. But if you have any ideas of like how or what kind of stats you want to see, maybe I could do a video of that in the future because anything would help. Like I want to see, I want to do videos about what do you guys want to see. So if you have any suggestions, just put them in the comment section and I'll make a note of it. And then when I get the time, I'll get the data for them. So I'm doing age. I know I'm doing age because... I already planned the, how I want to do it out. Okay, let me get back on this before this video goes too long. So this is this has gone up a lot. It was fourteen, so twenty-seven. And this has gone up by a lot to so 6.4 to 9.4. Okay, there's three for this race. So the pure logic, leave and secret, and Lord of French. Okay, 
Okay, so PR logic is 2.3, Okay, all of them are higher, so I'll take this. And we have T for good word. Nine point six. This is ten. So this will take that and quietness. Eight point six should be eight point eight. Okay. So yeah, that's all for today. Good luck. Oh, I forgot to show you the yolk one. Okay, so here are all the races for yolk ranked ones. You can find the rank threes on the Google spreadsheet. Give you a better idea, but yeah, some decent odds like this, uh, not. But I don't know. Yolk's been just rough. Anyways, good yeah, good luck.